Hey fellow pilots, we're on the ground at Midway today to cover a really important topic. A lot of people ask me about this and a lot of my students ask me about it too. It's how do you fly IFR? How do you start by filing a flight plan? How do you contact clearance? How do you talk to tower? How do you talk to ground? Everything in between to get your IFR flight plan going. So that's what we're going to do today. Uh, here is the general basis of what we're going to cover today. We're going to cover the pre-flight everything you need to do before you do an IFR flight plan. We're going to talk about getting your clearance, and then we're going to talk about getting ground, and then we're going to do the takeoff and cruise. That's all we're doing today because that's a lot. Remember this, that anytime you're on an IFR flight plan, this is the order that you're going to use. You're going to start by getting your clearance by talking to clearance. You're going to get your ground cl uh, clearance so you can taxi. You're going to talk to tower when you're ready to take off on the active runway. Then you're going to finally contact departure while you are departing makes sense and then you're going to contact center it will almost always go in that order so that's what we're going to do today so the first things first I've already filed a flight plan let me show you what my flight plan is I already punched this into Microsoft Flight Sim but we're going to start at Midway today I'm using skyvector.com these are real aviation charts highly recommend this site Midway uh, and then we're gonna go to intersection called Wastu this is a GPS intersection it's one of uh, the fixes right down there next to Bears intersection and then finally that Wastu is gonna take us on an approach into Gary so here's what we're gonna do we're gonna start by getting the uh, weather we gotta get the weather on the ground first so let me show you how to do that if you click on the airport where you are just look at the airport diagram. It has all the frequencies you're going to need. I'll full screen this. And this is super important. So we'll start by getting the ATIS 132.75. Pop over to the airplane. And I've already punched this in here. 132.75 on my COM2. Let's flip flop it over. And now we can listen to the ATIS. Airport information Juliet. Information Juliet. Wind is 274. So I've set my wind. Visibility 5. Okay, scattered 1,200 feet. I already set my 2 9 or 9 or 2. Okay. Alright, so we're using runway 3 1. Okay, so let's imagine we have the ATIS. Okay, so the Automated Terminal Information Service, we have listened to everything going on at Midway. We know that they're using 3-1 center and 3-1 left, so all this stuff down here is what we can expect. We're over here on the tower. So now next, it's time to contact clearance delivery. You're going to use this clearance delivery anytime you want to take off from an airport that has it. So if you're at any airport that has an operating control tower, nine times out of ten, you got to contact clearance delivery. In this case, the frequency is 12462. Let's go listen. One, two, four, six, two. There it is. Okay, so I flipped it up. I'm broadcasting on COM2. And what I'm going to say is Midway Clearance. This is Beechcraft Baron 10 Charlie Whiskey with Information Juliet. Information Juliet is what we just heard on the ATIS. Ready to copy IFR. And so as soon as I broadcast that, they're going to come back to me. And any time they give me a clearance, they're going to respond in this order. They're going to use the CRAFT acronym, that is. November 10, Charlie Whiskey, you are cleared to Gary via Radar Vectors Direct. Radar Vectors, VCTRS, and then Direct. Upon departure, climb and maintain 3,000. Expect 4,000 in 10 minutes. Frequency departure will be on 128.2. Squawk four one four three. Anytime you get a clearance from the from uh, clearance delivery, it's going to be in that order. And so let me set my transponder here. Code four one four three. There it is, and it's on standby. Okay, great. So now what I need to do is I need to confirm with uh, clearance that I just heard them. So I will read back to them. November one zero Charlie Whiskey is cleared to Kilo Golf Yankee Yankee via radar vectors and then direct. Altitude, I will climb and maintain 3,000. I'll expect 4,000 in 10 minutes. Departure on 128.2, squawk 4143. And if I say all that exactly the way they said it to me, they will come back with these all important words 
November 1 0 Charlie Whiskey, read back correct. And that just means that we have a clear understanding of everything that's about to happen. I am now ready to switch over to ground. Ground is uh, responsible for getting me to the airport or getting me to the runway safely. So let's see what the ground is. 12165. You can see it right there if I zoom in. 12165. Let's switch on over to ground. One, two, one, six, five. All right, so now I've got one, two, one, six, five. Before I even taxi, I want to know what I'm going to have to taxi to. So I think I'm going to taxi to runway three, one center, and then we'll go over to Fox Two, to Foxtrot, all the way to Foxtrot and hold short of three, one center. So let's give them a call real quick. Popping on over. And I'll say midway ground. Beach 10 Charlie Whiskey is just north of the tower. Taxi runway 31 center. And then they will come back and say, Remember 10 Charlie Whiskey, taxi and hold short of runway 30 31 center via Fox 2, Fox, and Fox Trot. So let's do that now. And we're back, holding short of runway 31 center at Fox Trot. Black square means you are there. So now we have finished with talking to ground. Ground has gotten us here safely. It's time to talk to tower. What's our tower frequency? Well, let's find out. Midway tower, 135.2. By the way, I can't recommend enough that you set these frequencies beforehand. If you plug all of these in beforehand, you are going to be happy because it is so cumbersome, especially in the sim, to be twisting all these little knobs. So I've already got it. 135 decimal 2, switch on over to COM1. Here we have Midway Tower. We are ready for departure at runway 31 center. Let me just give you a quick checkup. Here, here we are, by the way. We've already contacted ground. We've gotten our taxi clearance. I just did the run up. And now it's time for takeoff and cruise. Await IFR release from the tower and depart as instructed. Okay, let's talk to tower. Midway Tower, Beechcraft Bonanza, uh, correction, uh, Beechcraft, Beechcraft Baron, 10 Charlie Whiskey, ready for IFR departure runway 31 center. They'll come back to me and say, Roger, Beach 10 Charlie Whiskey, climb maintain runway heading, runway 31 center, clear for takeoff. And then I'll say, clear for takeoff, runway 31 center, Beechcraft Baron, 10 Charlie Whiskey. Check to make sure that our final is clear, and it is time to take off. I'll confirm that we're on runway 31 center. Looking pretty good. Line myself up. Yep, the uh, heading checks. I'm going to have a little left crosswind. Let me line this up, and now we're ready to go. Runway 31 center. Full power forward. Check the engine instruments are in the green. Okay, we're maxing out at 2700 RPM. That's good. Speeds alive. Oh, these rotors are too sensitive. Rotate. Positive right. Gear up. And right around this point, they're going to say Baron 10 Charlie Whiskey, contact departure. Contact departure 10 Charlie Whiskey. Let me pause for just a second. Oh, it's active pause. Okay, cool. All right, so they say contact departure. Luckily, I've already con I've already set my departure, so that means one two eight decimal two. That's the same frequency of right here. Time to switch that up. I'm going to acknowledge and change frequencies. And after this, I basically just do what air traffic control says to me. That is the root, the crux of getting in and out of a terminal area under IFR. Follow these procedures. Do what they say, and you're going to be fine. All right, let me.